Thank you, Sal. Worst introduction I've ever had in my life that someone has pronounced my name correctly. You, you brought me up with a, uh, and then gave me no ado whatsoever. Thanks, Sal. By the way, you are the most adorable little Indian squaw I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, Sal, the, last night you posted a status on Facebook that was like, everyone follow your dreams, everything is beautiful. And now you show up to Money Plays, you're like, Viva la raza! Para Jesus! What's up? Thanks, bathroom guy. I appreciate that. Speaking of La Raza, can we give it up for the, Me for the Mexican restaurant guy who comes in here? I've never heard anybody give a shout out. Oh, you guys can do better than that. Guy checking your phone. Clap for the Mexican restaurant guy right now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No one has ever shouted out to that guy. And if it wasn't for him, I couldn't get my nachos while peeing at the same time. All right? In Somalia, they call that heaven, okay? So we live a very privileged life. And Sal, your bartender, I love... Me and Sal are the relationship that, that, that a fast food, fast food restaurant at midnight. St did I say Sal? Me and Stan have the same... Never mind, now I've just fucked up the joke. Now I'm dead to Stan. I called him Sal, and he's like, you're dead to me, man. Which really says more about how he feels about you than how he feels about me, so... Right? Right? All right, good. I'm glad that joke didn't go over well. Because that brings me into my next bit. If a comedian does bad up here, a good, a pro tip for you guys would be don't come up to them and say, hey man, I liked it. <laughs> because that just reminds us that nobody else liked it. That's just you saying, hey man, I know all those times where you told those jokes and nobody laughed. You remember that while you were up there in front of all those people and the only point that you were up there was to make other people laugh and they didn't. You remember that? I was laughing. Not loud, not loud. I mean, there were people in the room, so I'm not gonna laugh loud. Like, if we have a bad set, the only thing we want to happen is to have a pretty girl come up to us and say, hey, I'm legitimately more attracted to people with a sense of humor than I am to flat abs. Also, I would never have sex with Sal. That's all we want to hear. That is all we want to hear. Nothing else will matter. What's up, Sal? All my insults to Sal are like, man, do you guys get how good looking Sal is? What's the deal with this guy? <laughs> what an asshole. Because that's how comedians work. We're jealous of people that put time into their bodies. True talk. True talking, guys. True talking. I was at a bar that might rhyme with funny maze uh, recently. And um, I, 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 so if you can't tell, I dress like this because uh, I, I, I'm a gamer and I like to leave dating on hard mode, okay? Uh, so I need to say I'm not good with the ladies. And I walked in, I sat next to a guy uh, at this establishment who was the best ladies man I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm sitting next to him and he's on, he's on a date. He's with a very pretty girl. He's not a very attractive man. He's with a very pretty girl. And he says, he says these words. And I'm going to quote a couple of things that he says. And he says these things. So it doesn't even matter if you'd showed up tonight because I'm just the kind of guy that would be able to make best friends with anybody at this bar because that's the kind of person I am. And she goes, uh-huh. And then later he says, and I haven't even shown you my scars yet. And she goes, uh-huh. And then later he says, and I put that little Mexican kid on his ass because he thought it was hot shit, but he didn't know that I was on the wrestling team. Plus, I went to the magnet program, so what's up? And she goes, uh-huh. And then he says, you know, if we were to date, you'd be mine, but not like a slavery sort of thing. And if you get that, and she goes, uh-huh. And then they kiss. Because that's how fairy tales end, ladies and gentlemen. That's how fairy tales end. And they're going to get married, and he's going to wear a cowboy hat and a belt buckle, even though he's never seen a cow in real life. And she's going to walk down the aisle to the sexiest puddle of mugs, mud song that's ever been written. And they're going to have hideous children. Their boys will all f wax their eyebrows and wear diamond-studded earrings. And you loosely use the word faggot, kind of ironically. And all their girls will never take a picture without a bottle of Jack in it from the time they're 15 on up. America. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, you guys gave me a minute a minute ago. Did I just earn another minute? Yes. Was I like Zelda and my, my hearts were low and then all of a sudden I found a fairy and now I have more time? Is that how that works? Do it! I'll tell you this. 
Uh, I found the most offensive website in the world. Found the most offensive website in the world. It's called YouTube. You guys might have heard of it. Uh, I, was, I was watching this video of a bear doing tricks on a, be on a picnic table with a beach ball. And I scrolled down to the comments. The first comment said, Fuck you, you Obama dick sucking bitch. I hope you burn in hell and die. The second comment said, LOL bears. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. My name is Matt Wiggin. Have a good night. <laughs>